What's up, Pharmacy Nation? I am Pharmacy Joe. Thank you for listening to the Elective Rotation, a critical care pharmacy podcast. This is episode 393. In this episode, I'll discuss why is IV dextrose given to patients with DKA. I have all the evidence supporting today's show linked up in the show notes at pharmacyjoe.com slash episode 393. When the serum glucose reaches about 200 milligrams per deciliter in a patient with DKA, IV dextrose is added to avoid the development of cerebral edema. In addition, the rate of insulin infusion may need to be slowed down to between 0.2 and 0.5 units per kilo per hour. Overly rapid correction of blood glucose past this point may cause a rapid reduction in effective serum osmolality, reverse the fluid osmolarity, reverse the fluid shift that occurs in diabetic ketoacidosis, and result in the development of cerebral edema. So the goal is to slow the rate of glucose to decline and avoid promoting development of cerebral edema. There is an exception to the rule of waiting until the serum glucose reaches 200 mg per deciliter to add dextrose. If a patient has euglycemic DKA, they will still need insulin treatment to resolve the ketoacidosis. Without dextrose, they'll develop hypoglycemia. Therefore, in euglycemic DKA, dextrose is added to insulin at the start of treatment. To get a copy of my six best tips for pharmacists responding to inpatient medical emergencies, go to my free download area at pharmacyjoe.com free. It's number 16 on the list. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you in the next episode of the Elective Rotation.